G'day guys, today we're going to be doing a review of the brand new DJI Osmo Action 2. This is the second version, alright? Now, we're going to be showing you their official website. It's kind of an interactive website and uh, it's pretty interesting what they've got written on there. Plus, we're going to be kind of showing you the, the similarities of this product, such as, you know, this is a GoPro Hero 10. This is the brand new one I did a review on. Uh, it's, it's similar to that. And of course, it's similar to the Insta360, Insta I can't even speak, 1R360 camera, as well as something else. So we'll show you those comparisons right now. If that sounds fun, we're making videos every single day on this channel. Just no junk mail. All right, that'd be great. That'd be great. Now going to the Action, or well, the Osmo series, right? This is the, the bunch of cameras that are on this, uh, on this website. We'll make it that way for you guys so you got to see them. So this is the Osmo uh, series, all the different Osmos that they have, all right? I really want to get this one. I want to get the Pocket 2, but I have not got that yet so far. But of course, this is the original Osmo action, right? This is, uh, you know, DJI's first, you know, try and try and break into the GoPro market because GoPro have a huge chunk of that pie, right? When it comes to, um, you know, sports photography, all right? Action photography. So yeah, this is their second take on it right now. Uh, but before I show you this, I mean, like I said, there are some similarities to this product right here. It's kind of like a magnetic situation, right? So if we go to accessories, we can see that it has like a magnetic pendant. So you can attach it to the back of your, well, attach it to your shirt using a magnetic pendant on the back that connects to the front, right? Uh, so it's very similar to that. And of course, it's very similar to the Insta360 1R, which is, uh, you know, interchangeable, swappable, all right? I've got one in my studio right now. Obviously, it's, what happened there? It's obviously pretty pretty close to the to the GoPro 10 as well, but yeah, all right, this thing right here, we'll zoom in a little and uh, take the cover off. It's a 360 lens camera, but there's two lenses on both cameras, right? Well, am I making any sense? I don't know, there's two lenses on this camera, right? Front and back, it's 360, but you can basically take it apart take this from this apart and you can take this apart from this and this right uh, pretty interesting little setup now going back to the little animation that's playing on the website so yeah that's essentially what the brand new Osmo 2 does in a nutshell all right minus the 360 bit so we'll go to the actual website and we'll check it out right now uh, here we go so like I said it's kind of an interactive web website and we're just going to scroll down and see what's uh, on display for us. All right, so I'm quite literally moving my mouse downwards, you know, and then this this kind of happens when I move down. Size defying power. There we go. All right. Uh, clips on the back, so you can have you can have just the camera, or you can have expanded storage capabilities, which we'll get into in a second, right? But yeah, going down a little bit more again, it shows you what it can do. See, there's the expanded thing, so you can see the screen. All right. Now, if you didn't want the screen plugged in, as far as I'm aware, it actually has inbuilt storage. Interesting. All right. Switch up your perspective. All right. Let's read on this one right now. So the DJI Action 2 isn't just ultra versatile. Apparently, it's also our most powerful action camera yet. Now, the innovative magnetic design lets you effortlessly, effortlessly swap out accessories as you as your creative life is on the go, right? Now, from parkour to park walks, break the mold with the DJI Action 2. So, this is something I really wanted to talk about, right? This does 4K 120fps frames per second, okay? Now, the GoPro 10 which we will show you right now. This is the actual website, right? The GoPro 10 can do, where are we? Here we go. It can do 5.3K at 60 frames per second. Or of course it can do 4K at 120 frames per second. So this thing can do 4K 120, but it can't do 5.6K. All right, so if you, if you were really, really interested in the high resolution, then you'd go for the GoPro, right? Makes you think, it makes you think. Now, going down a little more, waterproof to 10 meters, all right? Crafted with precision. See how the little clips, see the little, little, little steel things, right? You can clip it in, right? 
Okay, so the lightweight aluminium alloy body has a sleek, minimalistic look with a smooth and solid feel. Now the Action 2's innovative magnetic locking design allows you to integrate accessories quickly and securely, right? Look at that, that's awesome. That's a nice big lens. Uh, the shape and the angle of the lens has been carefully considered for optimal performance and beauty. Well, it does look beautiful. I'll give them that, right? The power, the power. So the Action 2 offers industry-leading performance and is packed with uh, intuitive features. With all this power, users can capture memorable footage from the spectacular to the everyday, even in harsh conditions. So there we go again with the 4K 120. All right. Some nice footage. Some nice footage. Now, this is something that GoPro doesn't have. It's the 155 degree super wide point of view. Now, GoPro, I, I don't quite remember what the point of view is, but GoPro has a you know, very wide, ultra wide point of view, right? And you can also get a, a, a separate lens from GoPro that makes the, the wide angle even wider. But I'm pretty sure that this right here, but yes, the Osmo 2 can get even wider with 155 degrees than the GoPro 10, which like I said, I can't remember how many degrees wideness it is, but if you want to check it out, go check it out. All right, so the Osmo clearly wins when it comes to wide, if you were interested in that, right? So moving down, right? Awesome. Horizon steady. So obviously the GoPro 10 has got something very, very similar and it's pretty much industry leading right now when it comes to stabilization. So that's awesome. It will be interesting to find out in the future some test results between the GoPro 10 and of course the new Osmo 2. Which one's the steadiest? Which one has the rock steady more so? All right, interesting. So scrolling down even more. So Horizon Steady. So Horizon Steady keeps your footage level no matter how wild the action gets. All right, now go for, from go-karting to dirt biking, DJI's built-in stabilization algorithm detects, the, uh, detects and corrects camera shake and rotation in real time. Scrolling down even more, all terrain, all action. I will give it a, a 10 plus for beauty. It does look beautiful, right? I, I really love the glass. Uh, situation. Now there's one thing I will add about the glass situation, right? If you break the glass, you've got to return the camera to DJI to get repaired, right? There is no replaceable front glass on the front, I'm pretty sure. And that, that's really shitty, okay? I think GoPro at one point did that with the, was it the 8th? I think it might have been the 8th they did that. But the 9 and the 10, you can replace the front lens if you break it and put a brand new one on. So that's obviously a lot better, all right? It's clearly GoPro gets the win for that situation. So let's keep reading. So built tough, the Action 2's camera unit is drop proof, dust proof, and waterproof at depths of up to 10 meters. And with the touch screen and lens constructed of Gorilla Glass, it's durable enough for any adventure. Uh, durable enough, yeah. So. It'd be interesting to know what kind of Gorilla Glass this is because our mobile phones, all right? I have the, the Apple, uh, what am I talking about? The iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm trying to think which model it was, right? Every new iPhone that comes out, every new Samsung that comes out, usually they have a newer version of Gorilla Glass. So for example, Gorilla Glass 6.0, for example, 7.0. Every generation, something new seems to come out, right? And obviously the higher the .0, the more scratch resistant your Gorilla Glass on your front screen will be, right? So it doesn't say which version of Gorilla Glass this is, which is interesting, but it would be interesting to find out what it would be, right? I don't know why they're not saying, but there you go. Ultra durable, unleash your creativity. I love time lapses, you guys know that. All right. All right, we'll start a time lapse. So show off your creative flair with a show. Hang on, ha ha ha! Hang on now. Show off your creative flair with a show-stopping time lapse. Created. <laughs> That's too fast. Can someone help me? It is too fast. If you guys want to quickly read these things, then by all means do. Okay. There are the things to read right now. All right. Please pause it if you feel interested in reading any of them. <laughs> you guys gave me no time to read it. Hey, that's not my fault. It's not my fault. All right, moving on. Go down. Let's go down. Made for action and so much more. All right. 
Actions 2 magnetic design lets users freely snap and switch between powerful modules and accessories. This flu fluidity, fluidity, wow, that's a big word, of form makes it the ultimate multifunction action camera. Uh, double down on your creativity, snap on the front touchscreen module and make yourself the center of attention. Designed with vloggers in mind, the front facing OLED touchscreen and four uh, mic matrix Neo, the one. <laughs> so basically the four mic matrix stereo lets you compose video and capture crisp audio as you narrate your adventure. And when connected with Action 2's battery life, it is increased to a maximum of 160 minutes when filming. Th some things just click. I like the reference. That, that was a good reference because I clicked together, get it? Anyway, just moving on, moving on. Intelligent audio. So we can pick from these things again. There we go. All right. If you guys want to read that, then please, please read it. Oh, you guys can't even see, can you? Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, there we go. All right. A boost when you need it, most. Uh, did someone say power couple? All right, get more out of your Action 2 with the power module. Now when connected, Action 2 gains a micro SD card slot and can film up to 180 minutes. It's even hot swappable, so you can keep filming without missing a beat. So like I said, if you want to use the thing, you can still record it in its on -built, in -built, on -built, in -built memory, all right? But adding this kind of thing adds the memory, so that's kind of cool. Uh, wearable accessories. So like I said, it's kind of like the uh, the Go. What's this one? The, the Go 2, right? With its uh, magnetic abilities. So very similar to that. So basically the Action 2 lets you remain in the moment as you capture the spectacular. With the magnetic lanyard and magnetic headband, you can wear the Action 2 on your chest or head, keep your hands free to film in FPV. Awesome, look at that. All right, get new perspectives. So these are the kind of the accessories that you can get with the thing. Uh, get with the times, get with it. All right, and here we go. Magnetic ball, ball, ball joint, Jesus. Oh man, the balls are feeling a little magnetic right now. <clears throat> Neodymium style, none of the freaking other thing. None of the fridge magnet style. Neodymium, Neodymium. Uh, okay, magnetic ball joints, so you can attach it to the car and stuff like that. Awesome, right? Now scroll down. Ooh, did you see that? That was cool, let's do that again, ready? Ooh, what the hell was that? That was cool. All right, so get creative or go extreme by connecting to one of the Action 2's magnetic mounts. Now the two mounts both snap onto the Action 2 directly via the magnetic lock and contain a quarter inch screw uh, to connect with third party accessories. Jesus. It's a small one for a quarter inch, isn't it? That's a small screw, I'm just saying. <laughs> Moving down, uh, the magnetic ball joint adapter mount has a reusable adhesive base and ball joint that lets you gain unique vantage points and angles when filming. So if you're craving an adrenaline rush, well, the magnetic adapter mount is designed to securely lock onto pretty much any extreme sports accessory. Accessory. Uh, sync and share on the go. So if you want to use the app kind of thing, you can edit your footage in their app, all right? Cool, GoPro's got the same thing with their app, all right? Uh, there we go. Now this is pretty interesting. If you guys were interested in something like this, right? Take a look at that. That's kind of cool. Go back down to that again. So remote control extension rod will take a group selfie control action to remotely and capture stable video all with the remote control extension rod. All right. The quick release grip is easy to hold and it integrates an extension rod, tripod and removable remote control pad. All right, so going down even more now. So this is something interesting, right? You can get a macro lens. This is something that the GoPro does not have. I don't know why, like why wouldn't GoPro get on this? This is actually a good idea very interesting all right so the macro lens snap on the macro lens for creative close-up shots filled with 
Sharper detail, this optical glass lens with a multi-layer coating is ideal for when you want to get up close and personal with your subjects. So if you're shooting a porno, you can get up close, up close with your subject and you get like, hey, can I join on the action? I don't wanna be the cameraman anymore. I wanna be a part of this pornographic porno. <sighs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but hey, look, it's a possibility with this, maybe, maybe. I'm not saying it is, but maybe, all right? Whew, up close to the action. DJI mic, so the DJI's all new wireless microphone system delivers exceptional sound quality and dual channel recording at distances of up to 250 meters. Now the system consists of two microphone transmitters, a receiver and an ultra portable charging case. Now you connect with the Action 2 and record crystal clear audio as you vlog, sing a duet, or describe a local delicacy, all right? It's crystal. It's crystal, that's how clear it is. It's crystal, apparently, all right? Going down, so here are the accessories. Here are more accessories that you can get with this thing. Uh, interesting, interesting, all right? Well, there you go, guys. What do you think about this new tech, all right? Now, for, for Australian dollars, at least, it's 609 Australian dollars, so obviously it is not cheap. I'm pretty sure the GoPro 10 is technically a little cheap, cheaper than this. What just happened then? <laughs> the GoPro 10 is a little cheaper than, than this new Osmo 2, but it all depends. Do you want a system that you can take apart like this? I mean, look, I'll do it right now for you on camera, all right? This is my Insta360 ONE R, and yeah, I mean, it, it, it has its benefits, but at the same time, I don't know if interchangeability Am I saying it right? Interchangeability? I don't know if that's actually the way to go in the future. I don't know, but there we go. All right. It's been a while since I've used this thing, so I have to remember how I did this now. <laughs> there we go. That's the battery. All right. And of course, here's the camera and here is the side screen, right? Boop. There we go. Now, this can't record by itself. You need to add a the base pack, all right, which I'm sure you don't need to do. I, I'm, I'm thinking you don't need to do with the actual Osmo. So that's interesting, right? But there you go. So they've obviously got this idea from uh, from Insta. Uh, do you like the concept? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, we're on channel two where we make daily videos. Channel one where we make travel films around the world. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff. Tallboy Gareth, all right? Hope you guys liked today's little tech review. I've been Tall, my name's Gareth, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.